So you did your research on um, as far as the car sharing and being an Airbnb for yeah. cars. Um, and we've seen firsthand of, of the success that it can, it can bring if you like kind of set it up correctly. Yeah, definitely. But one question I've been getting a lot, and I kind of want to spend a little bit of time to touch on it, is um, is how to get the cars. Because people have hit me up since we started doing these videos and talking about it. Right. Um, just like, do you cash out for the cars? Do you finance? Do you, you know, finance through the dealership or? Or do you, how do you get the cars? That's right. what I ask. Definitely, so, definitely. Do you want to kind of elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's different ways to get the cars, you know. Mm -hmm. I actually met a host that lives in L.A. that has 27 cars, and he bought them all in cash. Mm -hmm. um, they're all low-rent cars, obviously, but he bought them all in cash, and that's how he prefers to go about it. Um, and, uh, you know, um, we prefer to go about the, uh, uh, obtaining the cars uh, with our credit. Uh, what we like to do is keep our cash, keep our cash flow, and um, use zero down to purchase the cars, um, have them pay for themselves, and then once we're done, um, you know, once we're done renting out the cars, then we plan on, you know, uh, selling them after they make, you know, what they've earned on the car, or possibly uh, even more. In some cases, you know, some cars we have already have made more than they're worth. But um, yeah, uh, basically, the, our our method of going about it is, you know, we're fortunate to have you know high credit scores um, and you know when we first started the business we both had really high salaries at, at our corporate jobs um, I obviously left since then but um, if you have a high credit score uh, you're able to go into a credit union and um, you're able to get a car for zero down a very low interest rate on the vehicle um, and you're able to get the car and what you do is or what we do is we get the car for zero down um, our payment isn't due for 60 days um, from the time that we purchased the vehicle so we post the car as soon as we get it and basically we have 60 days we're making money on the car six for 60 days before we ever make our first car payment so and in a lot of cases like for with our Porsche that averaged uh, on av it averaged uh, close to $1,900 per month uh, for 2018 so you think about $1,900 over a two-month period that's $3,800 that we've made before we ever made a car payment. So you start off ahead, yeah. you know? So you start off ahead of the game, uh, ahead of depreciation. And the plan for that is to just continue that momentum, continue uh, staying ahead. And um, once you're done, once you're done renting out the car, once the car's made its money back, then you, and you're, it's only profit, then you, uh, you either keep it going or then you can sell the asset. Yeah. That's, that's our method of going about it. If uh, like like we said, there's also you know people who have you know cash cash models that just buy all the cars in cash. And if you have the cash to do that, that's a good plan too because that way you're you know you, you don't have a monthly payment. You're just um, you're you're instantly starting yeah you're starting off without a monthly payment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know if you ever need to sell the asset, you can just sell it because you're the free and clear owner. Mm -hmm. um, you can sell it easier because you have the title. It's gonna take a lot less time to sell the car. Um, but yeah, so. I know people who do who have a cash model, and that that's a good way to start it too. You could start with a, you know, um, even if you start with a lower end car, you know, you start with like a five thousand dollar car. That that uh, car makes its money back within a year. Um, then you use the money that you made off that car, and then you you know you buy another one. Yeah. Uh, so and then you could start building that way. Um, that's a, that's a good way to start too. So like our model is not the end all be all, but you know. Um, it's a it's a model that's worked for us, uh, mm -hmm. and it's a model it's a model we like, you know. So, and uh, yeah, one thing that I mean I don't want to spend too much time on it right now because we'll we'll probably uh, cover it in another video. But um, a lot of people are scared of the fact that the car is a depreciating asset. So a lot of people are wondering, like, you know, yeah, you put zero down, but you know the car is depreciating. So aren't you, um, you know, aren't you losing? But like I reiterate, like I said earlier, and I'm going to reiterate now, like you're staying ahead of the depreciation because you're making. Four times, four to five times the car payment, and um, in addition to that, you're able to write off the depreciation in your taxes. Mm -hmm. So um, that could be a, a whole other topic. <laughs> that's a whole other topic. That could be a so. whole video on yourself. Yeah, taxes definitely. So. Yeah, yeah, bounce back, got that bounce back. Yeah, we got that bounce retract. Gotta find my mind, homie. Where you at?